I'm here today with Roger Dumoulin White. He's the president and CEO for Theralase Technologies. How are you today? I'm wonderful. Thank you, Tracy. Roger, we've asked you in here for one specific reason today, and that's to discuss cancer treatment. Okay. We understand that Theralase Technologies is involved in this sector. How about you just start by telling the investors out there what Theralase does, and we'll go from there. Well, Theralase is a medical uh, laser company. We use medical lasers for our therapeutic division, but another division we've entered into is anti-cancer technology. In this technology, we've been licensed photodynamic compounds. These are specially made molecules built from the base up like a Lego set, which have an affinity or a likeness to cancer cells. They localize into the nucleus of the cancer cell, lock onto the DNA, and when you light activate them, they kill the cancer cell. So a very elegant way of destroying a very deadly disease. All right, I'm just going to have you back up a little bit. So talk to us a little bit about the actual technology and how this might be utilized. I mean, you have a laser which u utilizes light healing, correct? correct? Can you talk to us about what you have today on the market and how someone who has cancer might be able to uh, access your treatment? Well, our technology in the anti-cancer world is preclinical at this stage. We have not entered the clinical phase. We'll be entering that in the first quarter of 2015. With the technology, uh, God forbid someone we know has cancer, uh, you're really looking at three um, technologies or treatment methodologies. You're looking at surgery, where you try to cut it out. You're looking at chemotherapy, where you try to use deadly drugs or cytotoxic drugs to destroy it or you use radiation to try and cook it out. All three of them affect quality of life. All of them greatly diminish the immune system. This technology is like a surgical strike in the sense that it only attacks the cancer cells and it leaves the quality of life intact and it leaves the immune system intact. So we're gonna start enrolling in bladder cancer subjects in Canada and the US first quarter 2015. Well, you just answered my next question, so I'm going to back you up again. How did you select bladder cancer out of all the cancers? Why did you select this one first? Well, the work that we've done at Princess Margaret Cancer Center has shown that our technology is effective across a wide range of cancers. Brain cancer, breast cancer, prostate, pancreatic, bladder, lung, colorectal. We chose bladder simply on the size of the company. The bladder is a very easy vessel to get access to in the body. You can use a catheter, you can go through the urethra and get access to it. If you go into brain or brass or pancreatic, you're getting into surgical intervention, you're getting into expensive operating suites, you're getting into anesthesiology. All of these things add cost. So what we're looking to do is to get our technology across the line. And for us, bladder cancer is a very easy target. Uh, the cancer is a very deadly disease. It's the fifth most common. It has a very high recurrence rate of 80%, and it all starts from the inside of the bladder and grows out, so it's an easy access for our technology. So your commitment to argu arguably pain-free healing solutions and pain management has been a lifelong commitment? Yes, uh, I love technology. I love helping people. I love the uh, opportunity to be able to alleviate p uh, patients' pain and also to be able to um, you know, help in the, the war against cancer. I think it's, uh, I love going to work, I love my job. And for all of our audience that's going, how do we make money? Theralase currently does have revenue with your other technology. Can you just speak to your revenue numbers uh, and give us a quick overview on why uh, Theralase's uh, stock has performed as well as it has over the last couple of years? Well, we're quite unique in the sense that we have a revenue stream. We have a bricks and mortar business. So we currently do $1.5 to $2 million a year with our existing technology. As we launch our new TLC 2000 technology in fourth quarter, we're looking to increase our revenue three to 400%. We're looking to move into the six to eight million dollar range in 2014, and in the eight to 12 million dollar range in 2015. So some dramatic growth in the company. This will help to finance the cancer division and would uh, minimize the dilution that uh, shareholders uh, would take on such a fascinating technology. 
Well, that I definitely heard. And Roger, thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure. Thank you for having me.